Heavenly Father, open my heart and my mind through Jesus Christ and move the Holy Spirit within me as I listen to Psalm 78. Apply it, Lord. Help me to apply it in my life and to share with others in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Give ear, O my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings from of old, things that we have heard and known, that our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, but tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. He established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers to teach to their children, that the next generation might know them, the children yet unborn, and arise and tell them to their children, so they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments, and that they should not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, whose spirit was not faithful to God. The Ephraimites, armed with the bow, turned back on the day of battle. They did not keep God's covenant, but refused to walk according to his law. They forgot his works and the wonders that he had shown them. In the sight of their fathers, he performed wonders in the land of Egypt, in the fields of Zoan. He divided the sea and let them pass through it, and made the water stand like a heap. In the daytime, he led them with a cloud and all the night with a fiery light. He split rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink abundantly as from the deep. He made streams come out of the rock and caused waters to flow down like rivers. Yet they sinned still more against him, rebelling against the Most High in the desert. They tested God in their heart by demanding the food they craved. They spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the wilderness? He struck the rock so that water gushed out and streams overflowed. Can he also give bread or provide meat for his people? Therefore, when the Lord heard, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob. His anger rose against Israel because they did not believe in God and did not trust his saving power. Yet he commanded the skies above and he opened the doors of heaven and he rained down on them manna to eat and gave them the grain of heaven Man ate of the bread of the angels. He sent them food in abundance. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens, and by his power he let out the south wind. He rained meat on them like dust, winged birds like the sand of the seas. He let them fall in the midst of their camp, all around their dwellings. And they ate and were well filled, for he gave them what they craved. But before they had satisfied their craving, while the food was still in their mouths, the anger of God rose against them, and he killed the strongest of them and laid low the young men of Israel. In spite of all this, they still sinned. Despite his wonders, they did not believe. So he made their days vanish like a breath, and their years in terror. When he killed them, they sought him, and they repented and sought God earnestly. They remembered that God was their rock, the most high God, their Redeemer. But they flattered him with their mouths. They lied to him with their tongues. Their heart was not steadfast toward him. They were not faithful to his covenant. Yet he, being compassionate, atoned for their iniquity and did not destroy them. He restrained his anger often and did not stir up all his wrath. He remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes and comes not again. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. They tested God again and again and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power or the day when he redeemed them from the foe, when he performed his signs in Egypt and his marvels in the fields of Zoan. He turned the rivers to blood so that they could not drink of their streams. He sent among them swarms of flies which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them. He gave their crops to the destroying locusts and the fruit of their labor to the locusts. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamores with frost. He gave over their cattle to the hail and their flocks to thunderbolts. He let loose on them his burning anger, 
wrath, indignation, and distress, a company of destroying angels. He made a path for his anger. He did not spare them from death, but gave their lives over to the plague. He struck down every firstborn in Egypt, the first fruits of their strength in the tents of Ham. Then he led out to his people like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. He led them in safety so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies and he brought them to his holy land, to the mountain which his right hand had won. He drove all nations before them. He apportioned them for a possession. He settled the tribes of Israel in their tents, yet they tested and rebelled against the Most High God and did not keep his testimonies, but turned away and acted treacherously like their fathers, to twist it like a deceitful bow. For they provoked him to anger with their high places. They moved him to jealousy with their idols. When God heard, he was full of wrath, and he utterly rejected Israel. He forsook his dwelling at Shiloh, the tent where he dwelt among mankind, and delivered his power to captivity, his glory to the hand of the foe. He gave his people over to the sword and vented his wrath on his heritage. Fire devoured their young men, and their young women had no marriage song. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord awoke as from sleep, like a strong man shouting because of wine, and he put his adversaries to rout. He put them to everlasting shame. He rejected the tent of Joseph. He did not choose the tribe of Ephraim. But he chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loves. He built his sanctuary like the high heavens, like the earth, which he has founded forever. He chose David, his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the nursing ewes, he brought him to shepherd Jacob, his people, Israel, his inheritance. With upright heart, he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hand. Oh, Father God, this was a very long Psalm 78, and I just am so sorry, Lord, because the people we mimic our hearts today, we have forgotten your goodness. We have forgotten what you have given us. And Lord, though you have grafted us in the Gentile nation into your chosen Israelites from the tribe of Judah, Lord God. Lord, we praise you and we thank you for you made a plan for us. For Christ Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. He is our great and our last priest who intercedes for us. And it's through Christ that he is the one that is the propitiation that satisfies your wrath against us. O oh Lord, forgive us. We repent, O oh Lord. For this coming day in our life now, we forget your goodness of all the things that you have given us, and you have held back your wrath. And yet only we repent when things come bad our way, then we bow down and we repent. O oh Lord, forgive us. In times of good, we forget you. Only in times of bad, we run towards you. O oh Father, help us. We ask, Lord God, that we praise you and we remember your goodness and your kindness and most of all your unfailing love especially in sending christ because you know that there will be no salvation for all mankind if you did not send your only begotten son the lord jesus christ god emmanuel himself came down there shall not be any salvation for anyone without him O oh Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, that you are slow to anger, that you are full of compassion. We praise you, Lord God Almighty, this day. I pray, Father, that you remind me of this verse and this psalm, Lord, in my upcoming days and to apply it in my life to always remember this in Christ Jesus' mighty name. Amen.